Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today I want to talk about these little uh, panel meters that you can get for fairly cheap on AliExpress. They come in different flavors. If you follow the affiliate links in the description, you'll find a listing to a whole bunch. But uh, this one specifically um, measures up to 100 volts and measures up to 10 amps. Um, the way you use it is a little bit specific though. It comes with these two cables, uh, the one with the uh, thick wire, uh, that's to measure the current, and the one with the thin wire is to measure the voltage. Uh, a couple little things you need to know about uh, this specific one is that uh, the supply is 4 to 28 volts, and the measurement is 0 to 100 volts, and the current is 0 to 10 amps. So the supply and the measurement might be a bit confusing to you considering there are only three wires here. But the way it works is like so. So you've got the red, the black, and the yellow. I kind of put them in this order here. So if you have, um, you know, a battery or a power supply or whatever that you're trying to measure, you can actually power this voltmeter, which uses very little current, um, directly from that source. All you have to do is tie the red and the yellow together to the positive. So the red is the kind of the voltage source for the power supply inside the voltmeter. And the yellow is the measurement line. So that would be like your red probe on your multimeter. Okay, so you just tie the yellow and the red together on the positive and you put the black onto the negative. And basically you have a voltmeter that'll turn on and it'll measure the voltage on your supply here. Now, if you want it to be independent and you know measure up to that 100 volts, then you have to give it its own power. So you've got the red and the black, four volts, 28 volts supply, same as before. But now if you wanna measure another device, like let's say you have um, a 48 volt battery, for example, all you'd have to do is take a wire from the black, so you'd have to add a wire, you know, you'd have to like tee off here somewhere, to the negative, and then use the yellow as the positive on your device. So yellow to positive where you want to measure, and you need to tie that device back to black. So it's kind of like it measures voltage between yellow and black, but it needs to be supplied voltage between red and black for it to work. So that's not too bad. Let me just uh, demonstrate what's going on here. So I'll plug this thing in. There's two different plugs on the back there. And hopefully you can see this. My power supply here, this is the Redin RD6018. And this is a fairly uh, accurate power supply. So right now I have it set for 12 volts and one amp. The uh, current is not very much, you'll see why. But I'll take the red and the yellow wire and I'll take the black wire and I'll just shove the black wire into here, into the ground, and then our positives, as long as we can get both of them in, we should get, uh, you should get this thing to work. One and two. Let me just finagle this around. Okay, and there we go. So now we have 11.9 volts and the power supply shows 11.99, so it's pretty close to accurate. And we have no amps because we've got nothing going through the current. Now if I pull the yellow wire out, so now it's just the red and the black, hoping that they're still touching here, yeah. So you see, it's powered on, but there's no voltage because you have nothing on this yellow wire here. So if you wanted now to take the voltage of something else, you would have to link the black together and you would have to add this to the new positive terminal. Hopefully that was clear enough. As for the current, it becomes a little bit more complex. Not much more, but a little bit more. And I have to zoom you in to show you why. So I've just showed you the back here and uh, the PCB just comes out. It's uh, in these little grooves. I know the focus isn't great, but uh, whatever. So you just pry back these little uh, wings and you can pull on the uh, whole PCB assembly and it comes out. And I want to show you this because, well, first of all, they leave the protective plastic on these. They leave the protective plastic on these little uh, seven segment displays 
So that's not very good. And then you got your little plastic uh, face there. Um, but the middle pin here, I'm going to try to show you the middle pin here. That's the ground. That's the, the black wire from the uh, three pin connector. And it follows this trace up to here. And this here is the current shunt. So this is a little piece of wire that is used as a calibrated resistance in order for, uh, this is very likely an op, amp, an op amp here. I can't read the numbers, but it's very likely an amplifier that will read the voltage across this very low value resistor and then go off onto this pin there, which is the black wire. Actually, it's the red wire of the uh, current sense. So basically, oh yeah, sorry, it comes on to this one. That was a mistake here. This one here, which is the black wire of the current sense. That means that this pin here, this black wire here, and this black wire here, those are in parallel. So if you connect this to the wrong side of your load, you will burn something. And I know this because I have burned something. Don't know if you can see that wire there, but there's copper sticking out. That's where the, um, the plastic sheath melted. So let me show you how you connect the uh, current up to this device. And here's the diagram for that. Uh, so I've got the two methods here, one with um, the one supply and one with the isolated supply. The isolated supply one's a bit more crowded, but no big deal. So you'll see here red, black, yellow. Black is not even connected. Um, if you, you can connect uh, black if you want, but you don't have to because this black and this black are the same. So this black here on the big wire and this black here on the little wire exact same. So all you do is red and yellow somewhere along the positive side. Then you've got your wire from the positive side to your load out of your load into the red. That's important. I don't know if this thing measures a uh, negative uh, current. So you'll have to go into the red, then out of the black. So black to your negative on your power supply. And to have a completely independent supply, say like a 9 volt battery, and then you can measure up to 100 volts if you want. So you've got your big battery here. You connect your yellow wire from the meter to anywhere on the positive line here. That'll measure the voltage on your positive supply. Uh, your load goes around into red, out of black, back to ground. And then you just have the red and the black of the little wires, this guy here, connected to 4 to 28 volts. So that means you can have up to 100 volts on this side and up to 28 volts on this side. So, for example, a 9 volt battery, pretty common to be used on things like this. You can run this from a 9 volt battery and check the um, your source voltage on your power supply. I'm just going to set a little thing up so we can see this thing in action. Um, but I wanted to show you these diagrams first because uh, basically I'm going to be doing it with croc clips, so it's going to be a little bit messy. Bring it back then. Okay, I told you it was going to get messy, so all you need to do is follow this diagram here. Uh, red and yellow to the positive of the supply, which is the read-in RD6018 in this case. Then we've got a high current wire, this uh, big red one here. Uh, going into the electronic load, which will act like our resistor, doesn't matter, loads a load, and then into the red, out of the black, and back to the um, power supply here. And the black wire of the meter is not connected, it's just sitting right here loose. And so as long as you follow this, that's all you need. Now when we turn this on, we should get our 12 volts here which we do, 11.9, the read in RD6018 is showing 11.99, and then when I turn on this electronic load, it should be pulling about 8 amps, it could be less because I have some uh, crocodile clip connections, they, they're not exactly 
um, high power connections, but we will see how close we get. So I'm going to press enter. Okay. Um, the Reden RD6018 is actually reporting 8 amps on the dot. Uh, so is the electronic load. And you can tell here, maybe you can see that, that this meter is also showing 8 amps on the dot. Now this is showing 11.5 volts, it's showing a little bit of a voltage drop, um, which it really shouldn't. Actually, yeah, it could be because it is getting its ground through the shunt. Um, but uh, on the electronic load, we are getting 11.42. So yeah, there is a bit of a voltage drop and that's represented in here too. So this thing is actually fairly accurate. And so that's it. That should be quite enough information for you to start using these things in your projects. I already have a project prototyped that uses these things. So I figured I would uh, share my experiences with you guys and see what you guys come up with. Uh, if you want some of these and actually all of this equipment, there are affiliate links in the descriptions below. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but helps the channel. Thanks for watching.